Welcome back, Giant fans. We're now on box number 100. Box number 100 contains plastic display helmets. Let's take a look at this collection. In the back row, those are coin banks. They're all plastic coin banks. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plastic coin banks in the back row. And we're going to, and then the front row is plastic helmets. We're going to call that number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is going to be number 18 here. 19, 20, 21 helmets, and then a bag of, of push pins, push pin helmets. Let's take a look at the back row first, looking at the helmets. The coin. This is a plastic. Let's see if we can get info on the bottom there. Loyal gift products. Okay, there's the first coin bank there. Plastic. There's a second one. A second coin bank. Here's the third coin bank. This one's still in the box. Coin bank. From the sports club. This one, you'd actually fill the coins right into the face of the player. Here's the fourth one here. Same thing, the coins would go in. Oh, this would have gone to, the, to a football. Instead of going to the player, it would go into a football. And it looks like there's a... Maybe this is for gumballs, but it's also coins. Coins can go on the top. There's a lever here. For, oh, it's maybe both. You can put, this is both. This is, I think the T displays, dispenses gumballs where the top would hold coins. So that's kind of a cool thing, or unless it's two. This might be two, uh, two separate items, but perhaps not. But we're going to count it as one coin bank. Okay, the next one here is another coin bank. Now these coins would drop into a, a cylinder labeled Giants as opposed to the football or the face. And here's a, a plastic one. See-through plastic giant coin bank. Here's a giant plastic coin bank. Let's say 1976. Looks like 1976. Just FYI on that one. And here is a similar one here. Also a coin bank. Yeah, you can see on that one too. Looks like we can make out the date 76 there's one more this one was still wrapped up in the plastic we're not going to take it out because it looks like it was preserved new looks like the same type of coin bank as that's that one okay so there we go that's the back row of one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine plastic coin banks. Now I'm going to just take a quick look at the front row of plastic helmets. Yep, actually, I could see the date in there, it looks like. Perhaps we can catch that. Maybe not. Looks like 1974, if we can catch that on the... Well, it's hard to get it on the film, but it looks like 1974, the plastic helmet. This one's probably older than that. Maybe not. Someone's going to recognize that logo. Okay, 
can't really see the date on it, but it's another small plastic one. The second one like that. This one's the same thing, but it's wrapped up tight, so we're going to keep that one wrapped up. Save ourselves a little time. The fourth one. Here's the fifth plastic helmet. Next one, and the next one, and the next one. Okay, so in that row of small helmets, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight helmets there, plus the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine in the back. I need a 17. This is number 18 here. This has got a flat top because it's actually a serving bowl. Dish dishwasher safe serving bowl. We call that number 19. This is just a profile. Profile plastic helmet. This was very well preserved too. Looks like it was kept like a new condition. We have a second one here too. This one. So we've got two of those in a small little gum shell, gum box type of um, gumball machine, I should say, helmet. And then a whole bag of these pins. These push pins will go on a cork board. And the pins still work, I can vouch. Stuck myself a couple times. Okay, those are all plastic display football helmets, and they're all going to go into box number 100.